This video is intended for 9885 series and 9985 series split air miser shaft seal installations on mixers, blenders, agitators, or other processing equipment. If your design differs from that in this video, follow the instructions in the box or contact your local ImproSeal representative. When unboxing your new air miser shaft seal, verify the following components are present. Installation instructions, seal test report, three hex keys, and the air miser shaft seal. Once the seal has been removed from the box, check for proper throttle movement and articulation. Ensure all internal components move radially within the cap and flange by manually pushing the throttle and stator assembly back and forth within the seal. Before installing the seal, you will need to prepare the shaft and inspect the equipment. First, locate any burrs on the shaft that could damage the seal during installation. If necessary, use a file, emery cloth, or abrasive pad to remove any imperfections. Then, thoroughly clean the stuffing box face or equipment housing and shaft surface to make sure it is free of debris. Use a machinist square or other suitable instrument to check for perpendicularity of the shaft to the stuffing box face or equipment housing. Next, measure the shaft diameter to verify no more than a 5,000th clearance between the shaft and the inside diameter of the throttle. Then, measure around the shaft in at least three spots to verify roundness. If possible, measure the radial runout of the shaft with a dial indicator to identify the center of its rotating range. This will allow you to maximize the seal's radial runout capabilities. To begin seal installation, separate the seal component halves. Do this by first removing the cap from the flange, taking care not to mar the mating surfaces. Then, remove the cap screws and use the pry grooves to separate the halves for the cap flange stator, and throttle. If pry grooves are not present, do not pry the halves apart with a screwdriver or other hard tool as it could damage the seal. To install the seal onto the vessel, set the throttle assembly centered over the shaft at the previously cleaned installation location. Join the halves together. Then, set the stator assembly centered around the throttle with pins facing away from the vessel. Join the halves together, making sure to place the anti-rotation cap screws inside the drilled holes in the throttle.
Next, apply a thin layer of sealant to one side of the flange assembly. Center the flange assembly around the stator and join the halves together. Wipe off excess sealant if necessary. To assemble the cap, apply a thin layer of sealant to one side of the cap assembly. Set the cap assembly centered around the shaft and join the halves together. Wipe off excess sealant if necessary. Now, assemble the cap to the flange. To mate the seal to the vessel, align the supplied o-ring or face gasket or apply a thin layer of sealant to the stuffing box face or equipment housing. Position the seal inlet and gauge ports as close to horizontal as possible. Then loosely bolt the seal to the stuffing box face or equipment housing to hold it in place in preparation for seal alignment. To maximize shaft misalignment and runout capabilities, always install the Air Miser shaft seal to as close to a centered position as possible. This is achieved by evenly spacing the supplied three hex keys around the shaft between the stator and the shaft surface to align the seal concentrically. Once the seal is aligned, tighten the bolts to secure the seal to the stuffing box face or equipment housing. The hex keys can then be removed. For air or inert gas setup, you will need to install at minimum a regulator and pressure gauge. Plumb a half inch or larger diameter air or inert gas line from the regulator to the seal. Then install the pressure gauge on the opposite air riser port. On the regulator, set the air or inert gas pressure to a minimum of 5 to 10 PSI over the process pressure. For ease of installation and setup, we recommend using an ImproSeal AM control panel as shown here. The AM control panel ensures maximum sealing performance by including all necessary system components in a single cabinet. Airmiser shaft seals require a constant supply of air or gas to function. Each seal should have a dedicated air or gas supply. Multiple seals should never be operated from a single regulator. For any questions, please visit our website at www.impro-seal.com or contact your local Impro Seal representative.